Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, we'll be showing you Binance Cryptocurrency Exchange, the ultimate guide. So we have a lot of topics here to discuss, so let's start with how to download and install Binance app on Android device. So you might want to start using Binance here, but you're not sure how to install the mobile app. Because we all know that Binance here has the official website, but how do we actually start using it on our mobile devices? Well, the installation process and the download process is actually pretty easy so first things first is we need to access our mobile device here and go to google play store now in this case what we need to do is we need to download or search for binance go to the search section here just type in binance just search for it and from here you just need to look for binance by bitcoin in this case let's go and click on it now from here just click on the install button here and from here, what we need to do next is we just need to wait for the installation process to complete. So this might take a few seconds or a few minutes. In this case, let's just wait for it to complete. Now, once the installation is complete, you could go ahead and click on open here. And from here, that should actually initiate the Binance app. In this case, what we need to do next is we just need to answer a few things here. So let's just say I'm going to be a crypto novice here. Let's go ahead and answer that. And from here, it's going to load up the next page. Now on the next page, what you need to do is you just need to sign up with your email or phone here or just log in into your account. And in this case, that's about it. How to download and install Binance app on desktop PC. So we all know that Binance has the official mobile applications that is accessible on your mobile devices. But how about PC? Well, installing Binance in your PC is actually pretty easy. So what we need to do first is we need to visit their official website, which is going to be Binance.com. Now at the top right of your screen, you should see a globe icon as well as a download icon. Now in this case, once you hover over it, you should see a QR code there. Now in this case, if you scan that, you'll be able to download the app on your mobile devices. But if you if you notice here, we also have the button here that says more download options. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, once you're in this page here for downloading the Binance app, you have the following. You have app download, desktop, Binance API, or authenticator. Now in this case, since we want to install the Binance app into our desktop here, let's go and click on desktop. And from here, we need to choose our OS. Now in this case, we have Windows. We have Mac OS here, which includes Apple Silicon or Intel chip. And we also have the Linux version here. We have Linux Deb and Linux RPM. In this case, go ahead and choose whatever uh, type of OS that you have. But in this case, since I have Windows, I'm going to choose Windows here and click on it. And I should be able to start the download for the setup or the .exe file or installation file for Binance. So in this case, let's just wait for it to complete the download. Now, once the download is complete, you could go ahead and open up the file location or go ahead and just click on it and you should be able to see the startup. Now, in this case, if it asks further permissions, go ahead and answer yes here and that would initiate the installation here. Now, in this case, you need to select your language. Go ahead and click on OK once you've selected that. And from here, you need to choose where you want to install the Binance app. Now, in this case, go ahead and choose that and just click on Install. And it's going to start or initiate the installation process here. So this might take a few seconds or a few minutes. So let's just wait for it to complete. Now, once the installation is actually complete, you could go ahead and click on finish here and make sure that you're on Binance here. In this case, let's go ahead and click on finish. And from here, we should now be able to start using Binance. Now, in this case, it should pop up any minute here. So let's just wait for it. Now, in this case, you should now be able to access Binance or the Binance app here. In this case, if you want to log in, just click on log in at the top right here. Or if you want to create your account, just click on register here. In this case, that's how you download and install the Binance app on your desktop PC. How to sign in into your Binance account on mobile. So how do you actually sign in into your Binance account on your mobile device? Well, signing in is actually pretty simple. The first things first, you have to ensure that you have the latest version of the Binance app. In this case, I would suggest you to first visit the Google Play Store and see if you have the latest version. But in this case, let's go ahead and open up Binance here. Now, in here, it should load up the main UI for Binance. Now, in this case, at the very top here, you have two options. So you have the option to log in or sign up. Now, if you don't have an account yet, you could choose sign up here. But if you already have an account here, just click on the lock in button. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to provide our email or phone number and just hit the next and provide our um, password and just complete a few things. 
Now, in this case, if you've added like authentication, uh, if you add an authenticator into your account, you might need to open up the authenticator for you to access your account. Now, in this case, if you actually use a, your Google account to sign in, what you need to do is just click on the continue with Google here. And just choose your account. Now, in this case, let's go ahead on the with the button on continue with Google here and choose our account. Now, in this case, if you haven't enabled your two-factor authenticator or your passkeys here, it's going to recommend you to use those options. But if you don't want to use it, you can go and click on the X at the top left. But it is recommended since it actually secures your account further. In this case, let's go and click on the X at the top left. And as you can see, we were able to log in into our account. So logging in is actually pretty simple. And that's about it. How to verify my identity on Binance. Now, in this case, you might be wondering, how do you verify your identity on Binance. Well, it's actually pretty easy, but make sure that you have the necessary documents with you before you start. Like for example, any proof of IDs that you have like a passport or a driver's license. In this case, let's go open up Binance here. Now in Binance, there are actually multiple ways to access the My Verify Identity section. Now, typically at the bottom right of your screen, you should be able to see a section that actually says uh, verify my identity as you can see on my screen right now. So if you click on it, that would actually redirect you into the verification page for Binance. But if unfortunately you can't see or you don't have that option or if, or if you don't have that pop up at the bottom right, well, there's still another way for you to access that. So go to home at the bottom left here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to click on the Biden's icon at the top left of your screen. And typically in the main menu, you should be able to see the section that says action required. So typically by clicking it, you should be able to see the verification page. Again, in some cases, you won't be able to see it. So in this case, go ahead and click on your name at the very top here. And from here, you should be able to see a section that says verification. So in this case, go ahead and click on verification. Now what we need to do now here is we need to basically start the verification process. Now in the verification process, they will request you to fill out all the entire information about yourself. That includes your legal name, your birthday, your address, and a lot more. So let's go ahead and choose start from beginning. Let's go ahead and click on start. Now from here, it should give you the option to start filling out all the entire information. So for example, let's go ahead and select our region. So as an example, I'm going to uh, maybe select uh, Philippines here. So let's use the search fun functionality here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, it should, go in, it should ask you for your legal name, your middle name, and your last name here. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter our name. And uh, from here, we should be able to start and continue to the next page. Now what is your nationality here? Let's go ahead and answer that correctly click on continue and your date of birth. So as, as an example, maybe I'm going to put this as my date of birth and hit on continue. So you also you need to enter your address. So in this case, you can just put anything in here. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter it and just click on continue. In this case, uh, it's going to ask you all the information. So let's go ahead and fill out all this information. Now here on the next page, it's now going to ask you to provide your ID. So that includes any ID cards that you have like UMID, Philippine National ID, also accept for voters ID, SSID, and a lot more. So in this case, just choose the appropriate one here. Like if you want to choose a driver's license, go ahead and choose that. And from here, hit on continue and you need to take a photo of your driver's license. Now, once you provide a driver's license, they might ask you to uh, basically do a live video of yourself, just rotating the phone around your face, just to make sure that you're actually the one uh, verifying this account here. Now in this case, once you've submitted the verification process or once you've completed the verification process, they will actually process this so you might uh, need to wait for around uh, one day or two days depending on the process speed on your area. But in this case, you just need for wait you need to wait for them and once it's actually completed, you should now have a verified account in Binance. And that's about it. How to fix secondary verification in Binance. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up any browser that we have on our PC. And from here, we need to go to Binance.com. So at the URL here, just type in Binance 
www.facebook.com and just press on enter and from here you should be able to see a login button at the top right so go ahead and click on it but if you have this pop-up here you can go ahead and just choose your google account that you use to log in so in this case i'm going to choose my account here and the login process should now be complete now, once you are redirected to the dashboard here or to the main homepage for Binance, what we need to do next is we need to hover over our profile icon. So at the top right here, just next to the deposit button here, you should see your profile. And from here, you want to go to security. Now under security, this is the settings that we could change to basically add or adjust our two-factor authentication so two-factor authentication is our secondary verification here so it's going to give us different information like for example you could basically configure your pass keys your authenticator app your phone number and your login password now in this case for example if you want to enable the phone number option here just click on manage and from here you will be able to add a phone number as a secondary verification now same thing with the other settings here just click on manage there and from there you'll be able to enable those two-factor authentication how to enable face id on binance app so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the binance app here now from here we need to click on the binance icon at the top left of your screen and from here you should be able to see your profile in this case go ahead and click on your name here and once you click on it you should be able to see the following which includes verifications security vip privileges and twitter in this case let's go ahead and click on security here and from here what we need to do next is we need to adjust a few settings here in this case we need to actually add a passkey here for us to actually start using a face id in this case let's go and click on passkeys here now once you click on it you'll be able to see one of the options that you have here in this case we first have to add an authenticator here let's go and click on add authenticator and from here we need to click on continue now once you hit on continue, you see the option to choose one of the following. So in this case, you have NFC security key, USB security key, use a different phone or tablet, or use this device. In this case, we'll be choosing this device. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to first verify ourselves. So it might ask you to provide your fingerprint or use your face ID. Now in this case, let's go ahead and verify that. And it might need further verification here. Like for example, if you need to provide your pass keys again or your passcode again and enable your face uh, scan here. In this case, once you've done that, as you can see, we now added our pass key. Now in this case, uh, we should now be able to start using face ID if face ID is enabled on your mobile device. In this case, that's about it. How to enable Google Authenticator on Binance. The first thing that we need to do here is we need to access Binance. So let's go ahead and open up Binance here. And from here, you should be able to see the homepage. Now, what we need to do next is we need to access our settings. So at the top left of your screen, click on the Binance icon. And from here, what you need to do is access your name there. So you have your name there. And from the top, you have your ID. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to access our security. So let's go ahead and click on it. And under security, you should see the option that says Authenticator app. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, we need to enable this one. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on enable. And a code will now be sent to the email that is registered to your account. So let's go ahead and enter those code or verification code. Now, once you've entered your code, you'll be given the following information and steps for you to link an authenticator. Now, in this case, you have two options here. You might want to use a digital key or the following QR code. Now, that's for step one, which is identifying your key and your QR code. Now, here we also have the option or the next step here that says open Binance or Google Authenticator and add the details that we got from step one. Now, from here, go back to step number three and verify the new authenticator on Binance app. Now, in this case, we'll be using this code here since I won't be able to use the uh, QR code that I have right now. So go ahead and click on copy there and go to our authenticator. Now, since the authenticator app is actually secured, I won't be able to show you the whole screen for it. But for now, I'm just going to click on the plus button that you see at the bottom right. And from there, let's go ahead and click on the enter a setup key and enter the required details. And once I added the authenticator key, I'll be able to get a code. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and remember the code. Now, from here, let's go back into our Binance account 
and from here you should be able to see or verify your authenticator code so let's just go back into our settings now once you enter your code just click on submit and once you've added all those details as you can see the notification here that says authenticator app verification and our authenticator app has been added now in this case you could go ahead and start using Binance as you would and you should be good how to change your account name on Binance wallet so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to the Binance app so let's go ahead and open up Binance here and from here what we need to do next is we need to access our settings so at the top left here you should be able to see a Binance icon so let's go ahead and click on it now in this case this should actually redirect you to your profile which also includes your name or your nickname in this case let's go ahead and click on our name here and from here if you want to change your name you just need to click on the edit icon next to your nickname in this case let's go ahead and click on it now from here this should, this should actually open up the settings now in this case what you need to do next is you just need to click on the edit option next to nickname and from here you just need to enter the nickname you want to use and just hit on confirm and you should be able to add your nickname now in this case it's also recommended that you do not mention actual names or your actual name here on the platform itself but in this case that's about it how to change currency on binance app in this case first things first is we need to open up the binance app so let's go ahead and open it up now from here what we need to do next is we need to actually access our profile so typically your profile is located at the top left of your screen so let's go ahead and click on the binance logo and from here you should be able to see a gear icon at the top right of your screen so let's go ahead and click on it now from here you should be able to see your settings now the most important setting here is going to be currency in this case you could go and click on currency and from here you can just basically choose the currency that you want to use like for example if you want to use euro or you want to use this Australian dollar you could go ahead and just select that and you'll be able to update the currency for your Binance account also in the payment section you should be able to see the payment currency as well so if you want to update that as well you could go ahead and do that and change it to a different currency how to change language on binance app so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the binance app and from here we need to log in into our account now in this case how do we actually change our language here so the default language here on binance is actually english now if you want to change this to your native language then we need to adjust our settings so at the top left here you should be able to see the binance icon or the binance logo so let's go ahead and click on it now from here you should be able to see your name here so for us to actually settings go and click on the gear icon at the top right of your screen now what we need to do next is we need to look for the general section which is usually at the very top and you should be able to see the language option so let's go ahead and click on it now in this case what you need to do next is you just need to choose the language that you want to change your current binance app in this case there's going to be a lot of languages here that you choose from in this case go ahead and select that and once you've selected that you should be able to successfully change your language here on the binance app and in this case that's about it how to redeem a gift card on binance in this case how do we redeem a gift card on binance well the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up your binance mobile app and log in into your account now from here at the top left of your account you should be able to see a binance icon let's go ahead and click on it now from here you should be able to see a few things so you have shortcuts recommended now in this case go ahead and click on the more services at the very bottom and you should be able to see the screen here now in this section what you need to do is you need to scroll down a bit here until you see the gift and campaign section which in this case you need to select the option for rewards hub let's go ahead and click on it now from here what we need to do next is we need to go to my vouchers at the very top here let's go ahead and click on it now in here you have the voucher code button at the top right now in this case whenever you click on it you now have the option to enter your code now in this case just enter the voucher code here click on claim voucher and you should be able to redeem your gift card or your voucher how to transfer money from paypal to binance so in this case you might have heard about paypal actually handling crypto so whenever you go to google.com and search for paypal crypto here it actually shows us a link here that says buy sell hold cryptocurrency on paypal itself so in this case when you actually access this page here as you can see it's going to say this page couldn't be found so currently this option or this feature is only available for 
people in the United States. So meaning if you're not in the United States, you will not be able to access the cryptocurrency feature in PayPal as of this moment because of the restrictions. But in this case, uh, what we need to do here is we need to use an alternative way of actually transferring uh, whatever you want to transfer here. So in this case for PayPal, if you want to integrate your PayPal account or your PayPal balances into your Binance account, well, in this case, it's not directly possible because of the restrictions that is available in Binance. So for you to actually add money or transfer money from your uh, PayPal account into Binance account, you need to have a third a party that would work as a means to transfer your money, which in this case is going to be an actual bank account that you have. Now, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to go to a PayPal.com, log in into your account, and from here, we need to first add our card. So in this case, go ahead and click on add card or bank here. And from here, choose either credit card or bank account. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on credit uh, car, uh, card option here. And you just need to provide the following information. So that includes your debit or credit card number, the card type here, the expiration date, the security code, and even an address here. Now, once you've added all the details, just click on link card to link your card into your PayPal account. Now, once you've done that, if you have any PayPal balance in your PayPal account, what you need to do is just click on the transfer funds option here or the button that you see here. And typically, it's going to redirect you to another page. In this case, you just need to indicate where you want to transfer it and some confirmation and some details. Now, in this case, uh, once you've completed the transfer process here, so obviously, you need to have a specific amount of by a PayPal balance here that you need to transfer to your uh, bank account for you to access that. But once you've transferred all the funds on your PayPal account into your bank account, we are now ready to transfer those funds from our bank account into our Binance account. Now, typically, when you go to Binance.com, what you need to do is we just need to click on the buy crypto at the top left here. And from here, you just need to indicate how much you want to buy. So, for example, I want to uh, indicate the uh, USD here that I want to buy. So for example, I want to uh, maybe just for just to give you an example, I want to maybe spend around fifteen dollars or US dollars for, for me to buy BTC here. In this case, we need also need to choose the pay with option here. Now you have the fee up payment and the P two P trading here. So in this case, if you want to uh, basically choose your card here, you can go and choose the change option here or add a card option. So for now, I since already have a card here, I can just click on change here click on add new card and just need to indicate all the necessary details here that includes the uh, name, the credit uh, credit or debit card information and even expiry date and the security code or CVV itself and just hit on confirm to save your changes. Now once you've saved your changes, what you need to do is just select that card, click on confirm and just click on buy PTC here and from here it's going to ask you to enter your CVV to confirm that you want to buy that. In this case, just enter your CVV, click on confirm and you should be able to transfer your balance into Binance. And that's about it. How to withdraw WorldCoin to Binance. In this case, for us to make a transfer, we first have to prepare our Binance account. So in this case, let's go let's go ahead and open up Binance here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to our account. So at the bottom left, you should be able to see a markets icon. Go ahead and click on it. Now from here, you should be able to see your total balance. In this case, go ahead and click on the deposit button that you see there. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the option that says Deposit Crypto. Now from here, we need to search for a world coin, which is going to be WLD. In this case, let's go and choose this one. Now from here, we need to choose our network. So our network here is really important. So in this case, choose Optimism because we'll be using the Optimism network for this one. Now in this case, once you've chosen that, you should be able to see it pop up here. Let's just click on OK. And you should now be able to see your deposit address and the network. Now choosing the correct network here is really important. So if you fail to choose the correct network, your funds might get um, lost. So meaning you won't be able to recover your account or your funds once you make the transfer. So make sure to choose Optimism here. In this case, let's go and click on the copy button here. It's going to say wallet address copied. Now, once you've done that, let's go ahead and exit this one. And we now need to go to the world app. So in this case, let's go and open it up. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to our wallet at the bottom left of your screen. And from here, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit. Now, in this case, go ahead and click on the world coin icon or the uh, section there. And from here on, you should be able to see the next page where in this case, you should be able to see a send button. Go ahead and click on it. 
Now from here, you should be able to see the section for pasting or entering the address. So in this case, go ahead and paste your address here. And from then on, you should be able to see the next page, which in this case, you, you will have the option to view a section that says confirm you're using Optimism. So it's really important that you, again, you're using the Optimism network. So let's go ahead and click on confirm. Now, once you click on it, you now have the option to choose what cryptocurrency you want to transfer. In this case, go ahead and choose WorldCoin. Now, once you've chosen WorldCoin, what we need to do is we now need to indicate how much we want to send. In this case, for example, let's go ahead and indicate $5. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to basically start or initiate the sending process. Now, by the way, if you are if you're having issues and accessing the uh, send section here, it is... Uh, uh, suggested that you update the app sometimes you'll get some issues or you won't be able to send here make sure to update your app to your latest version first but once you've done that go ahead and press on and hold on the hold to send button and once you've done that it should say order successful now in this case that's how you send crypto from WorldCoin to Binance. How to withdraw Sweatcoin money to Binance. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up Sweatcoin. Now in the Sweatcoin UI, the first thing that we should be knowing here or we should know is to basically know if it's actually possible. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to our profile, which is located at the top right of your strip. Uh, in the screen here, click on it. And from here, go ahead and click on the gear icon at the top right. Now from here, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the option for help. Now under help, let's go to other common queries. And from here, you should see the option that says, can I cash out my sweat coins to PayPal or your bank account? So when you click on this option, it's going to give you information regarding this one. So in this case, the direct and simple answer to current the current system for sweat coin is currently you will not be able to convert your sweat coins into actual currency. But the long term plan for sweat coin right now is to basically uh, make it a currency that you'll be able to fully use outside or in the real world. Now with how Sweatcoin is currently set up is you can just basically use Sweatcoins here to earn rewards. So in this case, uh, it is highly suggested by Sweatcoin from them that you use your sweat coins to basically uh, claim your rewards. So in this case, I would suggest you to, instead of waiting for Sweatcoin to be a fully fledged currency, they, it is actually suggested that you expand this into the marketplace. So in this case, I would want you to go into the main UI, go ahead and click on the basket icon there. And from here, just choose whatever reward that you can claim in here. But yeah, so the simple and direct answer is currently you will not be able to convert your sweat coin to Binance or to any actual currency. But you could go ahead and spend your sweat coins here into the marketplace and basically get rewards or discounts. And that's about it. How to copy wallet address on Binance. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to actually open up your Binance application. And from here, you just want to log in into your account. So once you've done that, you want to actually locate our wallet. But in the light version for Binance, it's not actually readily available to us. So we want to actually switch over to our pro version here. So no worries, there's no additional fees to actually switching to pro. So just click on the top left of your screen. That's where your profile icon is. And from here, you see the Binance Pro option there. Just click on that and switch it open. So what's going to do, it's going to show advanced details or advanced options for us on our account here. But if you're unable to switch over to uh, this specific UI here, you might want to actually verify yourself first. So once you've done that, you've verified yourself and uh, went ahead and get uh, got the pro of you here. We want to just select on the wallets at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, you just want to click on the deposit option there. From here, you want to actually search for the crypto that you want to copy your wallet address. So here for this example, we're going to search for ETH or Ethereum. So just type in the search here, ETH, and choose Ethereum here. 
So once you, once you've chosen your Ethereum, it's going to ask you to choose a network that you want to use. So choosing a network is actually really important because uh you have to ensure that you what uh the asset that you want to actually transfer to or uh you're planning on having a transaction actually has the same network. So if it has a BEP twenty. Uh, network you want to ensure that the other wallet is also using the bbep20 uh, network so if it's using erc20 network you want to ensure that it's also using erc20 network so basically it's a match so what that specific wallet if that wallet is using that specific network your other wallet should also be using that specific network if you don't use the same network for your transaction, you will you will have problems with your transaction. You will not receive your assets and that would be a huge huge problem and you won't be able to recover your assets. So the important thing here is you have to actually know the network you that you want to use here. So for this example, we're just going to use the BEP20 network here and just click on that. And from here, you will be able to see your wallet address. So for you to copy this, just click on the copy next to the wallet address there, and you'll be able to copy your wallet address. So if you want to use the QR code here, you could just click on the save image option there and just click on allow. And it's going to save the, a screenshot of that specific uh, QR code that you have on your screen. So when we actually go back into our gallery, you should be able to see your screenshot here when we actually load this up so here as you can see this is now the screenshot that we saved from our ui there so uh, let's go back into binance and here if you want to change or you want to change your network here just click on the change next to the network there and from here you can just switch over to another network that is actually the one that your other wallet is using and that's it so another example that we could give you we want to go back into our first menu here is what if we want to uh send a crypto for cardano so that's ada so here you it's going to ask again for your network so we have a bnb smart chain cardano and bnb bcoin chain so you just want to ensure again the type of network your wallet is using so incorrect network results in not receiving your assets which is really really big problem because binance can't help you on recovering your assets so here just choose your cardano for example and same thing you just need to click on the copy button you see your screen but if you want to use your QR code you could just go ahead and click on the save image it's going to say success and that's basically it now if you're wondering if we could, we could actually do this or copy our wallet address for stable coin so we could actually do this so another a type of a stable coin is actually usdt so a stable coin means these are cryptocurrencies is actually on the same uh, level or same value as the money or real money that we have right now so usdt is actually based on us dollars so that's the closest thing that we could have uh, on us dollars is usdt so here it's going to ask again for the network but as you can see there's a lot of network for usdt because this one is actually widely used so there's going to be a lot of network for this one so here you just want to ensure again that you're actually using the correct uh, network for for your account or for your other wallet because otherwise you won't receive your assets so here for example we want to use the uh, solana uh, network here just click on solana and from here to copy this just click on the copy here and if you want to change network just ch click on the change uh, section there or uh, icon there and from here if you want to save image or if you want to share your address actually you just need to click on share address and it's going to pop up a new ui for you and from here you could send this to your uh instagram direct of the uh, news feed uh to whatever platform or social platform that you want to share this to and from here go ahead and do that and once you're done you can just go ahead and wait for your assets and do the full transactions and 
you should be good. How to convert BTC to USDT on Binance. Now, first thing you have to do here is you want to go to Binance.com and log in into your account. Now, once you log in, you want to go to your wallet at the top right of your screen. Now, when you hover over wallet, you'll see the option for fiat and spot. So you want to go to fiat and spot here. Now, from here, what do you, what do you have to do? So the first thing that you have to do here is you want to locate BTC. Since we want to convert our BTC to USDT, because USDT is actually a stable coin wherein the prices don't actually change. Now here, just go ahead and find BTC. Now underneath BTC, you'll see the Bitcoin option there or the Bitcoin link there. So just click on that. Now from here, you'll be redirected into this UI here. So at first, there's going to be kind of overwhelming because there's a lot of details here but the only thing that you have to do here is you have to make sure that you are currently trading in BTC and US USDT. Now in here at the top right of your screen you should be able to see a search bar. Now from here what you need to do is you need to type in BTC slash USDT. Now from here, you should be able to see a section that says BTC slash USDT. So just click on that. Once you click on that, we are now trading in BTC and USDT. Now when we actually scroll down a bit into our screen here, we we'll have two options. We have buy BTC as well as sell BTC. So I'm just going to quickly explain this one. So here we have the price section. We also have the amount section and this bar here. So this bar actually represents the amount of BTC that you have right now. So if you put it at the very right section in here, it means that you're currently selling all of your BTC. So you could either use this one or use this section, this amount section here. So what's the price for? So the price is actually our marker when our Binance account will start selling our BTC. So this is our marker. So right now, BTC is around 29,383.63 cents. So as you can see right now, it's our marker is around 29,375.92 cents. So when it actually reaches, reaches this specific price here, it's going to sell our BTC depending on the amount that we enter here. So for example, we want to sell around 1 BTC here. And when it reaches this specific amount here, it's going to actually sell that BTC and that's it. So what you need to do here is you just need to click on sell BTC and it will now be placed or the order for your trade will be placed and you just need to wait for this to actually be sold. So once your BTC is sold, you just need to go again to your wallet and you want to go to fiat spot and from there you just need to look for USDT and that's about it. So you've just successfully sold your BTC to USDT and that's it how to convert USDT to Euro on Binance. Now in this case, the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to Binance.com, log in into your account, and once logged in, we are now ready to convert our USDT into Euro. Now at the top right here, look for the wallet icon, hover over it, and you need to look for spot. In this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now from your spot wallet, what you need to do is you need to search for USDT. So in this case, you could just basically scroll down a bit here and look for USDT. But another way for you to do that is just by clicking on the search uh, icon here, just typing USDT and you should be able to see this one. In this case, at the right side, you should be able to see the action section. Now in this case, choose the option that says convert. So if you're unable to see the convert section here, just click on three dotted icon and you should be able to see the additional settings here. But in this case, let's go and click on convert. And from here, as you can see, we have USDT from the from section. Now we need to change the two to Euro. So you could go ahead and select the currency, just type in EUR and just choose Euro. In this case, you could go ahead and just indicate how much you want to transfer. Like for example, I want to convert like around, around 100 USDT here. And from here, just click on convert. Now in this case, it will tell you if you have a sufficient balance in your account. In this case, if you have the same balance, you could just go ahead and click on confirm conversion. And from then on, you just need to wait for a few seconds and euro or the converted price or the converted currency should now arrive in your account. 
Now in this case, you should also be able to preview how much you'll be receiving. So in this case for 100, as of this uh, moment, so 100 USDT is actually 91.38 uh, Euro. Now in this case, once you confirm that, you should be good. Got your transfer from Earn Wallet to Spot Wallet in Binance. So first thing that we want to do here is we want to go ahead and open up our browser, go to Binance.com and just basically log in into our account. Now once in here, we need to now access our Earn Wallet. So at the top left of your screen, you should see the Earn section here. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, you should see the details for Earn. Now in this case, at the right side here, you should see a option or a link for a wallet so go ahead and click on it so alternatively you could go ahead and access the wallet at the top right of your screen here so if you click on this section here you should be able to see different options now in this case let's go ahead and click on the option for uh the wallet here just choose overview here and from here you should be able to see earn wallet so this is alternative alternative way for you to access your earn wallet if you're not aware now in this case, when you scroll down a bit here, you should be able to see all, the, all of the assets or crypto that you have right now for your earn wallet. Now in this case, most of the time in this UI here, next to your crypto, you should see the option for auto subscribe. So if you click on the auto subscribe here, all of the assets that you have on your spot wallet would actually be transferred into your earn wallet. So in this case, if you want to basically redeem all of your assets in your earn wallet, I would suggest you to turn this off. Now, in this case, once you've turned that off at the right side here, at the last section of your column here next to the earn wallet, you should be able to see the action column. Now in this case, what you need to do is you need to look for the option for redeem. So if you click on redeem, you have two options. So you either have the fast redemption or the standard redemption. So in this case, just indicate what method that you want to use as well as the amount that you want to redeem. Now, once you click on confirm and basically confirm the redemption, you'll be able to receive your, fund, uh, your balance from earn wallet into your spot wallet. And that's about it. So this one is pretty simple, just follow the steps and you should be good. And that's about it. How to transfer money from Binance to bank account. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to Binance.com and log in into your account. So for the first way, we want to actually convert our cryptocurrency to the uh, currency that we have on our, on our current country. So for example, we are going to transfer Brazilian reals. So here, we want to first trade our crypto to Brazilian reals. So just just go to the um, trade section here and just select spot. And from here, you want to search uh, for USDT and Brazilian reals. So if you don't have your a uh, cryptocurrency yet in USDT, so you have to first convert that to USDT. So for example, if you want to convert your Nano or can uh, Cardano or Nano to USDT, just search for Nano and USDT here and just go ahead and convert it into USDT here. So once you've converted that, let's go ahead and go to USDT slash Brazilian uh, Reals. So just select uh, this one. And from here, we want to actually switch over to market. And from here, we want to head over to the sell USDT here and just input the amount that you want to sell. So for example, we want to sell actually 300 USD, uh, USDT here. And from here, just uh, select U sell USDT and that would actually convert our USDT into Brazilian reals. So once you've converted that, we want to head over into our wallet and go to fight and spot. Under fight and spot, we want to select the withdraw button that you see at the upper right of your screen here. Just click on it. And from here, we want to switch over to uh, Fiat, if you don't, if you're directly led to withdraw crypto, you want to head over to withdraw Fiat here, and that would actually open up a new tab, and here you want to select the crypt uh, currency that you want to actually withdraw. So I have Brazilian real real here, and from here you just want to click on the continue, and that would actually transfer that to my bank account. And that's it for our first way. For our second way, we actually have the external online exchangers. So if you want to use your crypto for direct transactions, like for example, a wallet that you could actually carry over and you could just use it to pay crypto with, 
uh, you can actually do that. So uh, first, the only thing that you need here is the address and the network that you use for that wallet. So here, uh, for you to transfer that funds, you want to actually use your uh, wallet section here and go to Fiat and Spot again. And from here, you want to actually choose the uh, cryptocurrency that you want to transfer. But for this example, we're just going to use a USDT and just click on the withdraw button here. And here, you want to add the address for your wallet and the network that it is using. So it's really important that you choose the correct ad or network for this one because if you uh, incorrectly choose the network here, you will not you will not receive your crypto into your other wallet and it will be it will get lost and Binance gonna help you about it. So make sure that the, you are using the correct network here and you have the correct address. And from there, you could be able to withdraw your crypto and you'll be able to use it uh, for online exchanges. And that's basically it. And now for the third method. So for example, the first one doesn't actually work for you because you don't have the currency that uh, you have. You don't have the currency of your country on the options there. Well, we have our third way, which is actually the P2P method for Binance. So the first thing that you want to do here is first you have to actually convert your uh, crypt all of your cryptocurrencies into USDT. So USDT is a type of stable coin that uh, rarely changes. It's uh, nearly as much a value. It has value similarly to US dollars. Uh, that's that's why it's called stable coin. So here, just convert your uh, ex crypto first into USDT. Once you've done that, head over to your wallet here and you want to actually go to Fiat and Spot again. And here you want to head over to funding at the left side of your screen. And from here, you want to click on the three dotted option here. And from here, just click on transfer. And you want to actually transfer your uh, cryptocurrency from Fiat to Spot to funding. So once you've transferred that, you want to uh, input your amount here and just click on continue. Again, once you've transferred that, we are now ready to convert our cryptocurrency into actual money. So here, we want to actually head over into trade here and we want to go over to P2P. In the P2P page, you want to select the sell option here. And from here, you want to enter the Fiat that you want to receive. So for example, if you're in the Philippines, you want to select uh, Philippine Peso, which is PHP, or uh, another currency, you could just go ahead and type it here. And from here, you want to also uh, enter the amount that you want to receive. So for example, I want to receive around 4,000. Uh, 4, and here you choose the payments. So there are different payments here depending on your current region or country. So here we have Gcash, bank transfer, pay my union bank, and a lot of other stuff here. So you could choose the appropriate the appropriate one that you want to use. So once once you've chosen yours, like for example, I want to use Gcash here. From here, you just want to select the sell USDT here. But before choosing any of the uh, sell USDT here, you want to ensure that you have or will meet the requirements here. So here in the limit, this is the minimum value that they are actually buying. So here it is the max value and the minimum value. So you want to use or choose the one that's actually meets or um, actually meets your requ uh, requirements or price. Like for example, you're receiving around uh, top around 500 to 25 uh, 27,000 maybe you could choose this one if uh, your value is around that uh, certain price range and you also have to take consi uh, consideration of their positive feedback rating here so if if it's high it means this uh, buyer or seller is actually very reliable you could choose them and from here just select the sell USDD and from here you want to enter the amount that you want to sell in your USDT here so for example, you want to sell around 700 USDT and you will receive the following PHP or Philippine Peso here. And here it is the payment method available and just click on sell USDT. Once you click on sell USDT, you will be led into a new UI for actually having a conversation or interacting with the buyer from Binance. From there, you need to discuss how you could actually uh, finish the transaction. So there's a few details that you need to provide them, but do not provide your password. You just need to uh, give them confirmation and 
a few more details like for example if you're using gcash you have to provide your gcash information and once you've received your payment you just need to click on the payment receive button there to finish up your transaction and that's about it so remember to be careful online especially in handling your cryptocurrency there's a lot of scammers out there so make sure that you do or follow the steps very closely and that's it. How to transfer your crypto from Binance to another wallet. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to log in into our Binance account. So go to Binance.com, log in into your account, and once in here, we now need to access our wallet. Now typically at the top right of the screen, you should be able to see a icon here that looks or resembles like your wallet. So let's go ahead and hover over it. And from here, what you need to do is you need to go to your spot wallet. Now, once in here, what we need to do next is we just need to click on the option that says withdraw. In this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to see this page here. Now, what you need to do is you just need to choose your coin. So, for example, maybe I want to say I want to transfer ETH here. In this case, you need to basically choose who you want to send to. Now, if you're going to send to another Binance user, you could go and click on Binance user here, and you just need to enter their email for you to transfer that specific crypto to uh, actually uh, transfer that specific crypto. In this case, uh, if you have or you want to transfer this to a different wallet that is outside of Binance, choose the address option here. Now. What you need to do is you need to enter your address or the address of the recipient. Now, once you've entered the address, you also need to specify the network. Now, in the network section, it's actually really important that you choose the correct network. Now, the recipient of that specific uh, amount should also be using the same network itself. Now, in this case, maybe I want to say I want to use ETH here, but the receiver should also be using the ERC20 as well whenever they are actually are receiving that specific crypto. Now, um, not using the appropriate crypto or basically the appropriate network here can result of your crypto being lost. So you won't be able to recover that. In this case, choose your network. And also take in mind about the ETH balance. I have the minimum withdrawal here as well as the network fee. Now, the network fee here depends on the current traffic right now or the current um, network fee. So you, you wouldn't know. Sometimes it's actually really high, sometimes it's really low. So keep in mind about the network fee, fee here because it's going to be deducted from your wallet itself. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just proceed with the transfer. So typically, when you enter your address here, you should be able to see a transfer button at the bottom right of your screen. Now, in this case, once you click on the transfer button, you should be able to proceed on transferring your crypto to another wallet. How to see deposit history on Binance app. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Binance mobile app here and log in into our account. Now, in your account here, what you need to do is we need to visit a specific section, which includes the wallets page. Now, the bottom right here, you should be able to see your wallets. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to choose a specific page that you want to view your deposits history. In this case, we want to go to Spot Wallet. Now, if you want to view your deposits on your funding, earning, or futures, or any kind of history, you could just go ahead and visit them. And from here, it's actually pretty uh, the same thing for other pages here. Usually, you should be able to see a paper and a clock icon next or in the line of total balance. Now, when you click on it, you should be able to see another page here, which includes your history. Now, in this case, you should be able to see your deposit section here. This is the first thing that you'll see here. Now, if you want to view your crypto or your cash, you could go ahead and just select the appropriate one here and you should be able to see your deposit history. How to find Binance transaction history on Binance app. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Binance mobile app and log in into our account. Now, once you've logged in, we need to access a specific page here, which includes visiting our wallet. In this case, at the bottom right here, you should be able to see a wallet section. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, once in the wallet section, what you need to do is you need to visit another page. By default, you will be able to see the overview page here, but we need to go to the spot wallet section. 
Now under spot, you should be able to see your total balance as well as your crypto. Now at the top right, that is a actual, a really, really small icon that includes like a time and a paper icon. So that's next or in the line of total balance. You should be able to see that specific icon. So whenever you click on it, you should be able to see your history. So that includes your deposits, withdrawals, buy, sell, convert, and trades. Now, if you only want to see crypto, you could go ahead and choose crypto here. Or if you want to see your cash transactions, you should be able to switch to cash. Now, in this case, that's about it. How to reset Binance Passkey. So in this case, if you've forgotten or you were unable to use your passkey for Binance, it might get annoying because you won't be able to access your account. So for us to reset our passkey, we need to first access Binance.com or the mobile application itself. So in this case, we'll be using or we'll be showing it away via your PC here. So first things first, open up the website, which is Binance.com. And from here, you should see an option that says log in at the top right of your screen. So go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to enter our email or our phone number that we use to set register our account. So in this case, go ahead and enter those details. Now in the next page, it's going to ask you to enter the password. So if you've forgotten your password as well, just hit on the option that says forgot password. Now from here, it's going to give you some notifications about resetting your password here for your access. So some of the withdrawals and the P2P selling payment services and Binance cards applications will be disabled for 24 hours just to keep your account safe because we all know you might have a lot of assets in your account. That's why they want to protect your account. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to ask you to verify if you are really human. So go ahead and answer their CAPTCHA here. Now it's going to send a verification code to your email address. So go ahead and enter the verification code. Now in the next page, it's going to ask you to reset your password. So in this case, just enter a new password here and the confirmation of your new password. And from there, hit on confirm. And from there, you are now ready to access your account in Binance. And that's about it. How to log out Binance. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the Binance mobile application. Now what we need to do next is we need to access the Binance logo at the top left of your screen. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to click on our name or our profile here. Now from here, you should be able to see two buttons at the very bottom. So that includes the switch account option and the log out button. Now in this case, if you just want to switch over to a different account, you could actually choose switch account here. And in this case, once you click on it, it's going to ask you to enter your credentials and basically I'll provide some details for you to verify that you are currently the owner of that account. Now, if you really want to log out of your account, just click on the log out button at the bottom right here and you should be able to log out of your Binance account. How to permanently delete a Binance account. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Binance mobile app. Now from here, we need to access our profile. So go ahead and click on the Binance logo at the top left of your screen. And once you click on it, you should be able to see your profile. Now click on the gear icon at the top right of your screen. Now in this case, you should be able to see your settings. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to look for the section that says security. Now, in this case, if you see security here, you could go ahead and just click on it. But in some devices, you might not be able to see it in here. Now, in this case, if that's the case, you need to go back from settings. And from here, what you need to do is you need to click on your profile next. In this case, go ahead and click on your name or your ID. Now, from here, you should be able to see security. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now, scroll down a bit until you see the section that says manage account. So, let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you have two options. You have disable account and delete account. Disable account is a temporary way of actually disabling your account. So if you don't want to use it, this is a temporary solution. But deleting your account is a more permanent solution. So in this case, you won't be able to recover account if you really want to delete it. In this case, let's go and click on delete account. Now from here, you need to uh, specify your reason why you want to delete your account. So in this case, you have three options. No longer want to use this account, merge multiple account or others. In this case, once you've answered, answered this one, just hit on continue to delete your account or your Binance account. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.